my star gods. That's what you actually look like. I know we've known each other for like five light years, but I can't believe I'm seeing your faces for the first time now. Oh, it's so weird. Yeah, it's weird not seeing you on times, you know, because you haven't put on so many filters. Like, you can make it look like you're an actual different person. Yeah, like I could make myself look like Ariana Grande, even though she's like really old. Didn't she die? I think I heard my gran talking about her. She died? I swear she did. Oh, yeah. The other day on Times, I made myself look completely like Frilliba Williger. You know, that singer? He's so good. Have you seen his Times account? So good. I am in love with her. Like, honestly, all of it is just... Like, so much relatable alien stuff. It's just so relatable. I'm staying on Mars at the moment, you know. Wow, that's cool. How come? We're just here on holiday. Oh, nice. We went to the Cookstar Galaxy the other day. You know, just for something to do. That's awesome. I've never even left Fuller Fuller, and it is so boring. Honestly, my mum won't even let me go see the Milky Way. I'm like, ugh, it's so annoying. I'd hate to live on Fuller Fuller. <laughs> I've heard so many stories from it. Yeah, I heard it's really trashy. Going to the Milky Way is a good idea, though. We should do it. Yeah. Should we go tomorrow? I don't think my mum will let me. Sneak off the planet. Yeah, you've got your flying license, right? So you can fly yourself there. I don't know. I've got to go. We're going to have dinner with these Martians. I'll see you there tomorrow. Yeah, I better go too. See you at the Milky Way. Don't chicken out, Saz. But... See you tomorrow, I guess. What do you mean I can't shout bingo yet? You've got to have all the numbers before you can shout bingo. I don't get this game. Gran, it's boring. Well, being grounded isn't supposed to be fun. I just wanted to go meet my friends in the Milky Way. Mum didn't have to ground me for it. I thought she grounded you for trying to steal her spaceship without telling anyone where you were going or what you were doing. Yeah, well, the stupid thing is, I've been grounded on this stupid planet my whole life anyway. The only difference now is that I can't even use the goggle net to keep myself busy. Instead, I'm stuck playing boring bingo with you. It's not bingo's fault you're bored. I'm just fed up with being stuck on this planet. I want to go see the Milky Way. I want to stand outside in a planet with air. I want to go... What are you eating? I just fancy some of those asteroid crisps. Gran, you know they're bad for your teeth. The teeth you've got left anyway. Oh, you cheeky little thing. I remember wishing that I could go outside, go see places, feeling trapped. But that was because of the virus. Not the virus again. It was a very real problem. Yes, but weren't you like two years old when it happened? I lived through it and I survived. Gran. And it made me stronger, wiser, older. That doesn't make any sense. You get older just by living. Yes, but... Not the same way you get older, by living through history. I'm going. I've got school starting soon. Have fun! I'll have more fun than playing bingo with you. Oh, you're mean. Kidding. See you later, Gran. It's a water bottle, not a toy. And at this time, the inhabitants of Earth made some interesting choices about their leaders. This man here with the trashy mop hair and this orange man are two examples of Earth's leaders at some time between the year 300 and the year 3000. I, 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 uh, I think it's uh, fairly clear that these uh, leaders of the Earth represent the, uh, the finest leaders in uh, all of Earth's history. Be quiet, Frigo. I don't want to tell you again. Any more questions before we continue? Okay then, the virus caused Earth to go into what they called lockdown. People had to stay in their homes when previously they would go outside for work and entertainment. Uh, yes, Shelak. So, why did people leave their houses before the virus? Many reasons. 
people were expected to leave their homes to work. And it wasn't until this virus that they realized that their computers worked at home. There was also an expectation for people to see each other in person. So their physical bodies were expected to be present everywhere they went. Sounds exhausting if you ask me. I think it would have been so cool to live in a time when you went outside every time you needed to be someplace. Can you imagine walking to go see your friends? It's crazy. It is uh, uh, my opinion that uh, we should all uh, go walking in the uh, uh, the outside worlds. Enough, Regal. This is a time for learning, not a time for fun. Can we all go for a walk? You know, for research. No, stop. Just <sighs> do what you want. We'll pick this up again tomorrow. <laughs> And the number is two little aliens, 22! Bingo! That was the first number. You can't have bingo after the first number. Well, of course I can't have got that number. Well, you've got to have all the other numbers as well. You can't just have that number. Oh. One more disruption like that and you are out of the bingo society. All right, I'm sorry. The next number is aliens eye number one. Anyone sweating for a house? What are you eating, Geraldine? Asteroid crisps. Get your beady eyes off them. I am not sharing. All right, then. Next number. Spaceships, please. 43. Eee, it's raining. Oh, no. It's fine. We granny can handle a wee bit of rain. Just cover up your bingo cards and hide it from the rain, OK? My card's got an old soggy. Does that mean a mouse? Yes, it does. Oh, I'll just get me bags and go home. Yeah, you should explain that in your car gets soggy. It is shocking. We can handle a wee bit of rain, us bingo grannies. We've been here to go thick and thin. We've never let the rain stop us. Even when the bombing was going on, we were still out here playing bingo. So should I go home or not? Let's carry on before the rain gets too acidy and starts burning our skin. Yes, right. Next number is six dozen seventy-two. Oh no, I need a 73. Ron? Yes? 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 Ron, what are you doing out here? Oh hi, Sam. Have you come to join in our game of bingo? Ron, you know you shouldn't be out here. Come on, I'm taking you home. Oh, but I haven't got any numbers yet. Well, my card got an all soggy anyway, so I might as well go. The acid rain is probably a good reason to go home too. If you're such a smarty pants, why are you out here with us? I'm not, I'm a hologram. You are not. I am. You no know way, you look so real. What do you mean you're a, 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 a telegram thingy? Come on, Gran, let's go. Yeah, my rousing speech about us bingo grannies sticking through anything. See you all later. Bye. Goodbye, everyone. We'll have to play again soon. Wait, now come back! You can't be serious. Did you actually? No way. It's not a big deal. It's a huge deal. I've never been for a walk in my life. Why did you do it, Saz? I was just curious after our history lesson. That's all. What was it like? I don't want to know. Oh, come on, Galgo. Don't be like that. She's just annoyed because she got another robot sister again. Oh, shut up. I hate being the only non-robot. Go on, Saz. Tell us what it was like. Please. Um, it was weird. It was really tiring. I don't remember the last time I stood up for so long. I never stand up if I can avoid it. Whenever I do, it makes my head go all fuzzy, like space dust is caught between my ears. It was kind of nice though. I've never really looked at Fuller Fuller properly, even though I've lived here all my life. Did you know that the ground here is actually stripy? What difference does it make? This is ridiculous. I can't believe you went outside and now you're trying to convince us. That was this 
wonderful, magical experience. Well, if I hadn't gone, I never would have found Gran, so it's just as well I went. Don't pretend that you're a walking senior. What's next? You're going to tell us that the goggle net is polluting our minds and we shouldn't rely on technology so much? You're ridiculous. Bye, gal girl. Oh, Saz, I'm sure she didn't mean it. I think it's really cool that you went for a walk. And now you've been out and seen what it's like, you never need to go for a walk again. Yeah, I guess. Because you've got to admit, it was a pretty weird thing to do, really. Oh, I've got to go. We should plan another trip when you're not grounded anymore. I'm not going back to the Milky Way again, though. Once you've seen it once, you've seen it a gazillion times. Bye! Mum's gonna kill me. I don't care! This is so exciting! You're right! She will kill you! What? Who said that? Bran! What are you doing here? Couldn't let you have all the fun. But how did you know I'd steal the spaceship? It was only a matter of time. But how did you know I'd steal the spaceship tonight? But I didn't. I've been sleeping in the spaceship for weeks. So where are we going? The Milky Way, but I don't actually know how to get there. Not to worry, I brought snacks. And bingo! Is that to punish me for stopping you playing bingo in the acid rain? I wonder why I chose to live on a planet with acid rain. Why did you move to Fuller Fuller Gran? Why didn't you stay on Earth? Because there was no reason to stay on Earth. Everything moved on to the goggle net, so it didn't matter which planet I was on, we zoomed everywhere anyway. Most people didn't care, but... I always thought you should enjoy the planet you live on, not spend all your time inside. <laughs> Is that why you can't work with technology? Because you spend all your time outdoors? It sure is. Do you miss Earth? Sometimes. It's a great planet. Lots of problems. Possibly all underwater now. But I loved it. It was my home. Let's go. Where? Earth. Really? Why not? Because it's five light years away, and I only bought enough snacks to last a few hours. Well, we'll have to stop for fuel anyway, and directions. We can get snacks then. Gee, it's been so long since I've been on Earth. What will we do when we get to Earth? Lots of things. We'll go for walks, in the trees, and listen to birds. We can go to the shops. You can try fish and chips. And we can go visit my family. I can show you a proper game of bingo. <laughs> Sounds great. Planet Earth. Here we come. Oh, don't say that. That's really cheesy. Don't. Sorry. Let's just find silence for a little while. I'm going to have a nap. I haven't slept properly in weeks. Wake me up when we get to the next planet. 
Don't you want to see the sights? No, I've seen them all before. You just enjoy your adventure. If you like, I'm not even here. Okay. Night, Gran. Night, Sam.